The workflow to convert Unreal Engine Mannequin Animation into Bybit 3D Studio Max. First, prepare your Bybit into a T pose, 90 degrees for all limbs. We're going to do the same for the mannequin, posed in 90 degrees for all limbs. Then, we are going to export the mannequin and bake the animation for 10 frames or 50. Then import this animation into the mannequin in the Unreal Engine. Then we are going to create an animation montage, add the full T pose, and then add other animations to it. Then we are going to record this animation. After that, we are going to delete extra frames, but keep the full T pose at the beginning. Then export this animation and import it to the characters that we have exported from 3D Studio Max, the Unreal Engine Mannequin, and the Biped, and we applied the correct definition to each one. Character 1 is the Unreal Engine, Character 2 is the Biped. When importing the animation, Maya will add it to Character 1, which is the Mannequin. We're going to use the Character 2, assign the source as Character 1. Next, we are going to edit the HIK properties and try to fit the limbs as close as possible. After that, bake the animation to skeleton and export. In 3D Studio Max, the Bybit version, we are going to import into our Bybit updating animation only. Now, select all joints and go to the workbench and use key reducer. There is a problem with placing the feet. We can clean this up and set all keys to planted in this case. Also, we need to clean up undesired uh, hand motions. After that, we are going to save this animation from the correct start to the correct finish. Now we have a bybid animation ready.